Hello and welcome to Super Sandy Club this week. It's great to have you with us. So today I thought I'd start off with a little spot the difference. So I'm going to put up two pictures and there are five differences between the pictures. Can you spot all five? Let's see. First of all, the coral on the left hand side is a different colour, then this little thing doesn't seem to have eyes in the left hand picture, then there's an extra fish, then there's a fish missing, and lastly the boat is different. So well done if you got all of these. So today we're following on the story of David and finding out more about what happened to him. So remember last week he managed to escape from King Saul with the help of his friend Jonathan. And it meant that he had to run away and hide. But Saul wasn't going to give up and he kept searching for David. And today we're going to find out that maybe Saul needed to be better at spotting the difference. Let's hear his story and find out what happened. So King Saul still wanted to catch David. He was still jealous of him. And he gathered 3,000 soldiers and went looking for David. Some men came to King Saul and told him that they knew where David was hiding. So he decided to take his army and make a camp near that place. David knew about Saul and his army though. He had some people who had told him that they were coming. David wanted to go and see Saul's camp. So he asked his friend Abishai to go with him. David and Abishai waited until night. And then they snuck up very closely to King Saul's camp. He saw all of the camp there and decided to go down and get a closer look. All of the king's soldiers were sleeping so soundly that not one of them woke up. David and Abishai walked right up to the place where King Saul was sleeping. Abishai wanted to kill Saul. Well, that would mean that Saul would never hurt his friend David again. And David and Abishai could have killed the king. No one would have known. Everyone was asleep. But even though David could have hurt the king, he decided not to. He decided to show mercy. He was in a stronger position and could have hurt them if he wanted to. But he wasn't going to do that. David reminded Abishai that Saul was still the king that God had chosen. Someday Saul would die and David would be king. But David wanted to wait until God thought it was the right time. So David... Noticed that Saul's spear and water jug were right beside them. He came up with an idea. He told Abishai to take both the spear and the water jug with them. And then they walked away from the camp. Still, no one woke up. David and Abishai kept walking until they reached the top of a hill. They were far enough away that Saul's army couldn't reach them quickly. And then David, he called out to Saul's camp. He especially called out to a man named Abner, who was the commander of Saul's army. Abner was supposed to protect the king, but he hadn't even woken up. Wake up, Abner, David shouted. Why didn't you protect your king? Well, at first, Abner didn't understand. Then David yelled, Have you noticed King Saul's spear and water jug are no longer there? When Abner looked down, he saw that the spear and the jug were missing. Then he knew what David was talking about. David must have been right inside the camp. Well, how else would he have known about the spear in the water jug? They normally sat right beside Saul's head. Abner knew that David could have hurt Saul, but had chosen to show mercy instead. David had not hurt the king. Well, when King Saul heard David's voice, he told him he was sorry. And then he invited David down to the camp. But David... Well, he knew he couldn't trust King Saul. So he left Saul's spear and jug on a rock where Saul would find it and then went on his way again. So Saul had tried to kill David a number of times, but David had managed to get away. Now was his chance. 
he found King Saul and his men, and this was a chance he had to get back at them, to get his revenge. Or you might just say that King Saul would get what he deserved. But David didn't take Saul's life. Instead, he showed him mercy. Mercy's a, a, a hard word to explain sometimes, but I guess it means you show mercy to someone if you don't give them what they deserve. And David was showing, and David was showing mercy to King Saul. He deserved to be punished for what he'd done to David. But David wasn't going to do it. He showed him that he could have done it, but had chosen not to. Remember, David was a man after God's own heart. And he tried to do what God wanted for him. And I think this is a glimpse of what we see in Jesus. Jesus hadn't been born yet. It was still hundreds of years before he came to earth. And he showed us mercy. All of us deserve to be punished for the sinful things that we do, the wrong things against God. But Jesus showed us mercy because by taking the punishment of death on the cross, it meant that we didn't have to face that. We have all tasted God's mercy on us. And I think that's what David's story shows us today. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you for mercy. We thank you that we see in David your mercy and the way he treated King Saul. We thank you that Jesus came to this earth and showed us mercy and help us to be merciful to the others around us, to care for others and to show them you. Amen. So we're going to finish off with a song and it's one that I think you might know. It's called Our God is Big. This is a song that just reminds us how big God's love is, his mercy for us. And the lyrics go, God's love is big, God's love is great. And so let's sing the song together. And we're thankful again to Ellen Parish Church for helping us with the music. Nicola will show you the actions as um, Rachel and Alistair play. So let's sing together. And we'll see you next week. Bye.